All right, guys, I am so excited to finally release a tool that will solve the number one problem in OBS for open broadcaster live streamers. And that, in my opinion, is syncing up the audio and video. So what the heck is this? What are we looking at here? This is an audio video syncing tool. It's, it's actually a piece of video that you can use to record with your camera and microphone through OBS to, to figure out how much latency you need to add, how much delay, whether you need to add or subtract to your audio sources in OBS to get perfect audio sync. So let me show you a quick little clip here. So first of all, you go ahead and you record the video, you, you play the video and then you record it through a camera and microphone that is in OBS. So you literally point your camera. So that's my camera there, my PTZ Optics NDI camera. I zoomed into it and I'm gonna show you in just a moment how all this works. And then you literally use your microphone and your camera plugged into OBS and you record a 10 second clip, okay? You have to make sure that the microphone you're using, see that's the headset that I use every day. So that microphone, the exact microphone that you use records the audio. There's a clicking sound every time that one second passes. And we can use that sound to sync up the video that we're recording. So every time that bar in the center there drops to zero, a click sound will appear. And then we can just scrub the video. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in Adobe Premiere. And we can figure out exactly how much delay to add to our audio source to sync up our video. So I got a quick little presentation here I wanna show you that will help us kind of go through this. So first of all, what is this tool? Well, let me show you a couple of the different parts of it. So first of all, we have the center part here. So the center part is uh, a, basically a bar that goes from 1000 milliseconds, one second, all the way down to zero. And right now it's stopped at 293 milliseconds. Um, so you can see that there and then on the right, it just shows you a larger or left. It shows you a larger version of that. Now at the bottom, you see these little black bars that give you a color coded look at how far your audio source is from zero. So we'll use that to, to kind of eyeball exactly how much audio we need to, to get up at, or add to the delay. In my experience, I have found that we generally need to add delay to the video source or to the to the audio to match up with video. So the audio is coming faster. It's less really for the computer to process. So it comes in faster than the video. So we need to delay it a little bit so that they match up. So let me show you how this would work in Adobe Premiere. And I've got a recording that I've already done. And one of the things that you're looking at really most importantly is the audio portion of it here. So the audio portion of it gives us a really good look and I'll, I'll take a little bit of a closer look at it. Every one of those little ticks is happening in real time every one second, okay? So every one second, you should see a little tick of audio like that. We're gonna be able to see exactly how much latency is between the audio and video. And that's, that's really, it's so hard to do it without a tool like this. So there's a free download, below where you can get that. And let's take a look at this full screen and I'm gonna scrub through it with you so that you can see. So first of all, I'm gonna turn my audio on so that you can hear that little click, right? So that's a little click right there. So that little click there is happening roughly at 200 milliseconds, okay? So that's what it's telling us right there, 200 milliseconds. If we go a little bit further, maybe it's happening at 150 right? And we go to the next click just to double check. Here we are. This one's showing it at about 100. This one's showing it at 250. So the thing is, is that it, it depends on your frame rate. You know, it will, it will change a little bit for each click. Let's see here. This one's showing it at 200. Go to the next one here. That one's showing it at 150. Okay, so we, that tells us right there, right there at that tick, see where that little, I'm gonna make this smaller, that little teeny brick there that's going across the screen, that we want to be at zero. So we want that little brick to be at zero. If it's not at zero, then we have to add delay. So let me show you how to add delay in 
OBS. Um, we go into our audio source and we go to advanced audio properties. And in advanced audio properties, we have sync offset. And I already mentioned, you know, in my experience, uh, the audio is going in faster than the video. So we're going to add 100 milliseconds of latency based on what I just saw. And we're going to do the test again. This is something where you need to test it two or three times until you get it right. Because, you know, the camera that you're using generally is probably only getting 30 frames a second. And this video is actually has milliseconds. So every second there's a thousand, right? A thousand milliseconds in the video going through. So keep that in mind, you know, that they, they might be off by 50 or 100 milliseconds, you know, a frame or so, um, depending on your camera, but, and, and the video that's being reproduced on the screen that you're recording, but this is a way to get it close. So you do two or three of these tests, you start getting it closer, and now you've got a tool to take you to solve the number one issue, really, which is audio sync with OBS. So you do a couple of these, you get it closer and closer and closer, then you get on camera and you take your microphone and you take a video of yourself talking and you feel if you're really getting close. And we've really um, been able to do this in our podcasting studio and our live streaming studio here. And we've been able to get our live streaming software much closer than it's been in the past. And this tool is available for free at obsaudiosync.com. Download this video and use it yourself. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to us because we're always creating great stuff like this for you guys. Enjoy.